Hey, scrapbook friends, it's Nicole, and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite techniques using the Creative Memories photo tape. Um, this is a technique that I learned years ago when we used to sell this as part of our regular product line. And since then, I've found other kind of tapes that have worked, but the Creative Memories tape is my favorite to do this technique with. So today is February 17th. Right now, this is only available in the limited time adhesive buffet, which runs through noon on Tuesday the 22nd. However, I'm really hoping that this will be popular enough that they will bring it back to our regular line or that some of you purchase this and will be able to have it to do this technique in the future. And if you, you know, have a roll of this and it goes away for good, save it for this, um, this technique because it works so well. So basically what I'm going to teach you is a fold out page. So this is one I did many years ago. Some of you have seen this. I did a video years and years ago on a Facebook Live, and um, but I, I had to use non-CM tape, so I'm really glad to have the CM tape back to show you. So basically what this allows you to do is to expand your layout um, across you know three or four pages. This one does happen to fold out in both directions, um, but you could just do one side. You don't have to do two sides. And it's just a nice way if you have photos or something like that, that maybe you want to preserve, but you're not sure that everyone who looks at your album is gonna care. Like you probably don't need to see every one of these pictures of us on Cali River Rapids, but I couldn't choose. And I just couldn't bring myself to squish them all on a page when I knew how to do a fold out page. So you don't wanna do too many of these cause it can make your album really bulky, but once in a while it's a super fun technique to do this fold out page and it's really quite easy. So what you're going to need to do a fold out page is two refill pages. Somebody asked me um, in my video on Facebook if you could do this with the CM pocket pages. I do not think you can because you need the jeeping. The jeeping is what makes this um, project work because that's where we're going to adhere our two pages and that way you can still keep your full 12 inch width. So you need two regular refill pages. You need your 12 inch trimmer with the scoring blade. It's helpful to have the multi-purpose tool and of course you need the photo tape but that's all you need and then you can just decorate this like a regular page. So one of the pages I can just set aside for a minute because what we want to do is we want to pop the staples out of one of the pages and that's where the multi-purpose tool is so great because you just slide it in and just gently twist it a little bit back and forth and it'll pop that staple out. It leaves a little bit of, um, I mean, you can see where it, was, where it came out, but we're gonna just kind of smooth that down and you, it will not be noticeable on your, finish, on your finished page. So do both sides, we just twist and pop that staple out and then you can just kind of take your fingernail and rub over this. If you wanted to take maybe your pair of scissors and you know smooth out that edge, but it really, I promise, is not that noticeable once you get going because this is going to be the inside edge once we're once we're putting our pages together. Okay, so this is the outside edge and this is the staple edge, even though I've pulled off the staples. So now take your 12-inch trimmer. You're going to swap out the straight blade for the scoring blade. Hopefully you got your scoring blade tucked under here with all the other pretty blades. And we're gonna swap that out. And what you want to do is make a score line right along the inside of this jeeping. All right, so right on the paper side of the jeeping, we're gonna score right along this edge, all right? Don't, you don't wanna go on the jeeping, you wanna go on the paper right where it lines up with that. So what's really nice is that you can use the lines on your trimmer and the sight line guides. So just kind of eyeball it and get your jeeping where it looks like it's right on the, on the side of the line and then pull your, um, Pull your sight lines in, and then you can line up. Darn, this is. Ugh. Let's try this side. My page, my page is a little bent. 
It's not wanting to do this for me. Okay, so pull the sight line guides so that they are just just inside of this Jeep edge. You'd rather be a little too far onto the paper than too far onto the Jeeping. So hopefully you can see this where I have the sight line and it's just inside of the Jeeping. See that? And then we're gonna take our scoring blade. Now the scoring blade is a little tricky because you wanna make sure that your mat is in good shape, isn't torn up, that you've been replacing your mat as appropriate. You need to press hard enough that you get a good score line, but not so hard that you rip through the paper. So just know your own strength. You see those little sight line things just kind of tuck back up into their little hiding places once you slide with this. So I look at a couple scores. For me, I feel like, it's, feel like it's better to score a couple of times at medium pressure than to score too hard and risk ripping the paper. So hopefully we'll be able to see that there is a score line here you can kind of see it. My phone does not want to focus on it. All right, so you can see that there's a score line right here. And then we're just going to take it and fold it. We're done with the trimmer. And use your multi-purpose tool, the pointy edge, to kind of reinforce that fold. Okay, then we're done with our trimmer for a minute. Well, for the rest of this project, actually. And we need our other page back. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach this modified staple edge that we've taken the staples out to the outside edge of our pa album page that's going to go in the album. So this one has the staples on it. So that's going to be our album page. And then this is going to be our folding page. And that's where this photo tape comes in so handy. What we're going to do, actually, I'm going to fold this back open, is take the tape and pull a length just shy of the length of the jeeping. You want a little less so that you don't go over the edge. Now, hopefully we can see this tape, but the tape is a little bit, not quite as wide as the wax paper that it's on. Can you see that, how the, the tape is about a quarter of an inch wide? Let's see, let me do this. So, Here's the tape. It's about a quarter of an inch wide, which is not as wide as this wax paper. But what we want to do is try and get the tape exactly on here. So kind of look at it and see if you can tell where the sticky part is and line that up on the jeeping. Actually, when you are looking at it through here, you can kind of see the line of the tape. I don't think you guys will be able to see that if I were to show you on the video, but I can kind of see where that tape line goes. And then we're gonna peel this off. Oops, I went a little too low in this direction. I'm gonna run my finger, make sure it didn't go off the edge. And then right here, I went off the edge a little bit, but I'll just fold that over, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so this is my folded edge. I've put the um, tape on the folded sticky side. So, you know, the part that folds over. And then I want to adhere this sticky edge to the outside edge of the jeeping. And you have to just kind of finesse this a little bit. You want to make sure that the pages line up this way, top and bottom. Um, and you can kind of see where the curve starts right here. I can't pick it up to show you. I'll show you in a minute but I wanna make sure that I'm lining up the, page, the this edge of the page, and then this needs to be as straight as I can make it. Tape just stuck to my finger. All right, and then I'm just gonna press it down, maybe use this multi-purpose tool to just really strengthen that adhesion. So the edge is pretty straight. And now, voila, I have my beautiful fold out page. Now, for if, if this little edge bothers you, you can go ahead and, you know, press that down. But once you get your, um, your pa background papers on here, you know, if you're doing a, if you're doing a layout, let's see if I have a finished layout over here. All right. I don't, I don't have one. All right. Here's one. Here's the swirl layout I showed you guys a couple, a couple videos ago. So you could just put this on here. You know, if you were doing four pages, you could continue this swirl layout all the way across all four pages. 
So you just would adhere your, your background paper or your layout to the page. Um, and then, you know, when you fold it over, it's, it's like a little secret layout in there. So the trick is when you put your uh, page protectors on, if I have found that it's easier to do it from the, um, the staple side. If you look at the, if you look at that little edge, it's got the little curve. Actually, it doesn't really matter. But if you go from the outside, then you don't have to go over this middle section twice. So, but if you need to, you can. So actually I'll show you how you can do that. So just put your page protector on after you've got your layout done. And you can see how if I do it this way, it's just like putting on a regular page protector. And if your, if your layout is not in an album, of course, if it's in an album, it doesn't scoot around. So get your page protector on there. And if it's not in an album, then it'll be easier to come in from the staple edge and put your page protector on this way. But let's say it's already in an album and you just have to just gently encourage it over this double thickness jeeping edge. All right, so I've just kind of, just kind of encouraging it to come over this. And once you get the first little part over, you can then slide the um, slide the page protector just like a normal page protector, so that you then have a page protector on both pieces of your fold-out page. All right, so see how easy that was. Took us about ten minutes, and that's with me, you know, going slow and explaining stuff to you. Once you've done this a couple of times, super easy. So there's my finished fold-out page. And of course, you know, like I did with my album, if you want to do two and have facing pages, you would just, you know, do it in the opposite direction or do it the same exact way and flip your page over. But then you'd have your, um, you know, your two pages that fold out to make a uh, fold out Creative Memories album page. So I hope that this was a helpful tutorial for you, that you will have some of the photo tapes so that you can, um, you can try this and expand the options of how much space you have to do a layout of any kind of special event that is deserving of a fold-up page, whether it's a birthday or a wedding or writing on Cali River Rapids at Animal Kingdom at Disney World. So uh, thanks very much. If you have any questions, please uh, ask me in the comments. The photo tape will be available until... Um, February 22nd, but I'm really, really, really hoping that they will bring this back as part of the permanent line. I heard that this was one of the most requested products ever um, from the old company to the new company. So hopefully if you all can learn to love it as much as I do, this will be part of our permanent uh, adhesive line with Creative Memories. Thanks so much for watching and happy scrapbooking.